I'm CJ with Starter Builds, and today I'm going to show you how to build this really cool DIY farmhouse crib on Starter Builds. So back to what I was saying. We are back in the shop. We have finally finished the painting in the DIY nursery project we're working on here today. Today's project is going to be the crib. I'm super excited to be building this crib. The goal is that it's going to be <coughs> excuse me, converted into a toddler bed as my boy grows and gets older. So stay tuned for this crib build. I have plans linked down below. They're not my plans, but I'll have a link to that. There's no video to how to build this, so hopefully I can walk everyone through how to build it. It's fairly DIY friendly if you have the right tools, so I'm happy to be back in the shop woodworking and we're gonna get to it, so stay tuned. And as always, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share if you love the channel because my whole goal is to ensure that anyone who wants to take on projects and build things themselves can do it. I came from no experience, but with a little grit, a little grind, a little knowledge, we'll be able to build things that we want for our loved ones. So let's dive into the crib build. So as far as materials go, I'll have them linked down below along with the plans, but you'll need one by twos, two by sixes, one by sixes, uh, two by twos, one by fours, and two, uh, two by fours, duh. You'll need uh, one and a quarter pocket hole screws, Two and a half pocket hole screws, which I forgot to grab. One and uh, for quarter screws, one inch screws, and brad nails, one inch and one and one fourth. So definitely a lot of materials to have. As far as tools, uh, you're definitely going to need a pocket hole jig, like something like that, or even you know your cheaper one. Uh, probably a miter saw, table saw you could potentially use if you're going to rip off the the ends here for the cleaner look. Um, and then you know clamps you'll need as well as brad nailer drill, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna dive into it and let's figure out how to put this crib together and build it.
based on everything in the plans, once you have completed the assembly here, you should have your headboard. This is done with 2x6s, 1x6s, 1x4s, and a 1x6. Pretty straightforward, you're going to spend a lot of your time utilizing pocket holes and glue. But my best recommendation is to take your time, ensure everything's square, everything's flush. Uh, I actually assembled it without glue first, just to make sure everything was square and again flush. And then I went ahead and added glue to make it strong. So stay tuned for the rest of the crib build, but that is the headboard. It is sturdy and I'm super excited to be working on the actual crib part now. Stay tuned. <laughs> built the headboard and now we're going to be working on building the size. We're going to be following these plans. There's some stuff that is left out and to kind of show you how I'm going to be doing this, for the size we're going to be using 2x4, 1x4x8, attachable glue and pocket holes. But essentially what I had to do here to figure out, because there's no real detailed way in the plans how to line this up correctly. So essentially what I did, I already cut my slat which is a uh, 1x2 here. And I kind of just rigged it up here on the side. And your slat essentially has to be flush with your 2x4. So once you have it flush here, because this, this side is the inside of your crib, once I've had it flush here, essentially I just mark the line here with the pencil to showcase that that's where this is going to line up. Because on this side here, on this underside here, we're going to have pocket holes here that are going to attach to the actual headboard. So there's no measurements in the plan how to align this, but my best piece of advice is to take your 1x2 and use it as a template to ensure that it's in the right spot. Let's build the sides.
All right, now we are officially going to build the front. And this is composed of two two by sixes, one by six, one by four. We'll do the slats, pocket holes, wood glue, one inch spack screws. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> looks good in the front? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Perfecto. Hit that button on the top of the big flash one, yep. And there you have it, the DIY farmhouse crib. Thank you so much for viewing. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Stay tuned for more builds. This is CJ from Starter Builds, out.